Hey guys, Lucas from the Springs 4x4 Park. Well, here I am, Byron from Savage, Savage Tech Australia with his Tank 300. He's brought it to the park to test it out and I'm super excited, mate. What do mate, you reckon? I am like just having a quick look at this place. It looks like it's gonna be extreme fun. I haven't even seen the Beer Clock Hill, but I come here to check it out. Not attempt it today, but I'm gonna have a play around in this little, what do you call it, the Wombat? This is the Mickey Thompson Test Track. The Mickey Thompson Test Track. Yep. We're gonna take the Tank 300 through there and we're gonna see how it goes. Mine's got the body kit on it, so I'm not sure how we're gonna go with clearance. However, if we have any issues with that, we've got another Tank 300 that we'll bring out there and give it a good crack. Yeah, awesome, mate. Well, as you know, the Wombat holes here are a fair test for the suspension articulation and all that sort of stuff. It's going to test out the articulation of the Tank 300. It's going to test out the lockers, like all of that stuff. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are super excited. I'm Let's get in the ring, mate. Let's go. See if you can follow the battle axe, eh? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> How good is that? So front wheel's well off the ground. Well off the ground there. I reckon that is balanced really, really well. You can see how it's unloading that back tire. Like it doesn't, it doesn't change that wheel lift position violently like it's so well balanced I'm actually surprised with that
she'll kick a leg here. Wow, wow. Really well balanced. Big wheel lift. Well guys, I've seen many, many cars go through these wombat holes. Um, and I'll tell you what, like the balance of that car has really, really surprised me. Just the way that it rolls in and out of the wombat holes when it picks up a back wheel or a front wheel, it, it, it looks like it's balanced very, very well. I'm going to ask Byron, but do you reckon he's game enough to give me a go? What do you reckon, Byron? Yeah, do you reckon Lucas could have a go of that track in the big 100%. tank 300? 100%. Let's go. <laughs> Hopefully I don't break Let's it. Go. Cool, cool. Well, here we are. Tank 300, Byron from Savage Tech Australia is uh, giving me the keys and he said, get into it, Lucas, see what this thing can do. I've just watched him drive it through here and pretty well unscathed, so hopefully I can do the same. But I just wanted to show you guys in here, like it's got all these cool modes, this particular car, when you're in low range, you've got rock mode, mountain mode, snow mode, all that sort of stuff. Um, low range, high range, two wheel drive, four drives, all easy there. The stick's very, very easy to use. Like it looks cool as too. Uh, diff locks, simple press of the button. So when you select the rock mode, I was just playing with it there a second ago. So mud and sand, for instance, you've still got full control of your front rear lockers. So it'll obviously adjust the car to suit the mud and the sand and all that sort of stuff. But you still ultimately tell it whether you want the lockers on, lockers off. So I like the fact that you've got all that control, even though you know, you're using the modes that they've they've built into the car, but um, headroom's great, electric seat, steering wheel feels great. It must have um, electronic assisted steering because the steering, like, look. You look, can also change that in here, so you can go into um, steering wheel sport mode, light mode, comfort mode. So that was in comfort. Like it's it's so that's, simple. That's light. <laughs> so heated steering wheel. I just spotted that. <laughs> See. Um, like it's got all of the mod cons. Like this thing, value for money for. The stuff that's in here looks absolutely amazing, but the none true, of that the matters. True test. None of the that true matters test. if you can't take it through the Mickey Thompson test track. So let's get into it. Give it a go. So it feels it feels confident, like it feels really stable. The suspension setup, which I'm sure Byron will tell us about that in um, due course, feels really good. I'm just going to turn the lockers off because I want to see how far this thing gets through the test track without that locker assisted. Um, but like even when it's picking wheels up like it doesn't feel violent like it just rolls in it's so well balanced I've never owned one of these just for the record and and me saying it's good bad or ug ugly is no benefit to us whatsoever I'm just giving you guys the raw and real feedback of what I reckon of this car so just a just a quick one so we're unlocked. We've just come through the big wombat holes. Um, I think the throttle, the response of the throttle is just a little bit savage. So <laughs> I'm sure that at some point there will be a throttle controller or something that we really do. Just, we do that. They do. It. We do a Mate, throttle controller. <laughs> the throttle controller on this car would make it so like so much better for this slow speed controlled driving. It's just doing it with, like dead set. No lockers are on. Like we're, we're yeah, we're not absolutely locked. Absolutely unlocked. <laughs> oh, hang on. We've got this. So, Byron was telling me you hit this button here. So you got to turn on, go back to neutral. All right. Press that, which activates. Um, you got to be in full way, which we are. What's it say on your screen? Pressure low. Because <laughs> we've got the air, the air down. No, it's guys. Just on the right now. Oh yep, yep. What's it say? So it's got the little the little gizmo. There you go, there. and then now we should do tank turn. Yep, should be. Hang on, give me a sec. It's just locking. That's it. So that'll go back to drive, and then that should lock the inside rear. So obviously we've we've turned on this tank turn. Um, 
But have a go at the display, like, and it's so clear, like you can see the tread pattern in the tyres, the whole lot. But I just, I'm just very interested to see. Uh, 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 you can feel the, the, the back end. Yeah. It's obviously like a skid steer, like it's locking up one side. Um, you know, or, or, re, or restricting one side, so it actually skid turns like a like a machine. Like it's yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so we'll turn that back off. Press of a button, nice and easy. So we're still in rock mode. This this piece here, we are 100% going to pick up two wheels. We're still unlocked. There's no lockers on. The tank 300. How's it going to go? Well, there we have it. So cross axle, rear left, front right wheels are off the ground, completely off the ground. Like we're not going anywhere, as you can see. So we'll try just the rear locker which I'm pretty confident this will just push us straight through. So the lights stop flashing, wheels off the ground. Again, the balance, like the, the balance of it's incredible. It, f it feels really, look, I've got one hand on the steering wheel. <laughs> it's how confident it feels. Like it feels really, really confident. So we're still rear locked. What I'll do, I'll turn that off just to see if we need it again through this next section. So this next section pulls a lot of cars up because it actually flexes them out or it unloads um, drive from the from the wheels. So it'll be interesting. And I'm sorry, Byron, but I'm going to pick the harder line, mate, just so we can no, see beautiful. if this thing's uh, Let's do it. as good as what I uh, anticipated to be. So again, like, just confident. Oh, it's beeping at me. Thinks it's a carbocitis, but that's because we're laying over so far, pointing at the ground. Okay, so we've flexed out again. So everything's still on the ground. Like the car is 100% stable, doesn't feel dangerous or anything, but we'll chuck on that rear locker again. See, and it picks up nearly straight away. There's no delay in the locker. <laughs> Wheels are off the ground. Now it thinks it's a carbocitis because we're like leaning right over again. This camera is pretty cool, like it's so clear. It shows you everything. It doesn't really demonstrate or show you the holes. It's like 2D, like it's, yeah, it doesn't demonstrate the holes very well, but um, clarity, everything else of that is fantastic. Well, everything's push button, park brake, put it in the park does it all automatic so initial thoughts guys very very well balanced twin locked it's got all the tech um, throttle a little bit touchy but that can be resolved with a uh, throttle controller that could be also because we tuned it it's got stage one tune oh on these madmen's have made it go fast <laughs> I mean you know what we're like we need to go slower the bush but um, we'll take it for a strap up the highway here shortly but I'll tell you what if you haven't test drove one of these things get in there test it out and when you're ready, get on to Savage Tech Australia and get them to chuck some suspension and all the gear under it like this thing is because I love it and I can't wait to test it a little bit further out in the park. I didn't even know that. <laughs> Thanks.